What's up everybody? Today's review will be on Hidden Figures. So Hidden Figures stars Taraji P. Henson, Octavia Spencer, and Janelle Monet. The movie's about three black women who helped NASA build it into what it is today. At that point in time, uh, race relations were very challenging. You got Dr. King, you got all these uprising, uh, Malcolm X at that point, or, or cup upcoming. And what I really loved about the movie was, unlike many of the other slave type movies that come out and keep throwing it at you and throwing it at you, this one did it so well where you could actually feel the race in a room. It didn't have to be mentioned. It was just direct tension. Someone walks into a room and it's like, wow, it completely changed the mood. Yeah, because it's not like they were even being dicks about it. It's like, mm -hmm. um, you know, going to the Octavia Spencer and her kids going to the library and the white woman is like, oh, is there anything, you know, can you not like cause any trouble? It's like everybody is being polite. You're not, you don't have nobody saying, you know, niggers, you're not allowed here. It's just them, you know, going about it in a different way. Yeah. You even have, um, like every time, um, when uh, when one of the characters say, okay, I need, to, I need to be here or do this in order to do my job, you know, oh, no, we can't have that, you know, we can't have women here. It's like, no, you're saying that because she's African-American. You say, you're just using her as a woman, that way you can, you know, um, that's what I'm looking for? Uh, they used it as a scapegoat. There they used you the go. fact that she's a woman scapegoat. as a scapegoat not to point out the fact mm -hmm. that she was black. But, of course, at that point in time, they didn't have women in certain situations, but if there was a white woman as smart as they were, yeah. they would be in those situations. So it was amazing how they went about doing it. It was all soft-handed, which made it so much more powerful. It was just amazingly done. And I love the performances. Octavia Spencer, um, she's, she's always been good. I love Taraji P. Henson. She's awesome. Um, and it was a Janelle Monae. I didn't, know, I didn't know she was an actress. I just know her as a singer, but... Like she was, like she was the funny one, and she was real good. Like um, all three leads were incredible, and I see Octavia Spencer is nominated for a Golden Globe. Is like Taraji P Henson should be nominated too. If she's not, I mean, she was, she is the lead role. She is like the main one of the main focuses of the movie, and she's great in it. So yeah. I'm kind of hoping they look forward to her for Oscar, Oscar season. Yeah, that their characters really did work off one another. Them mm -hmm. together just worked magnificently yeah, great well. Great chemistry. Yeah, it was just amazing because you had them help each other out. Because one was, the lead was basically very awkward and mm -hmm. shy and didn't want to communicate. The two other ones were more, well, the really direct one and the really playful one. Yep. So it just worked out. They're, all their characters made one perfect whole character. So it was just perfect to me. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed Kevin Costner too. He's, um... He's basically a, a, a head of the department. Yeah, he's the director that, um, of mm -hmm. NASA at that point in time, and it was just amazing. And he doesn't see colors like, yo, you know, we need to get these numbers right in order for them to orbit around space. I don't give a damn what color you are. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. We need to get this done. Yeah, and so, he was having issues with her at the fir at the beginning mm -hmm. because of some of the racial tendencies at that point in time. But when he finds out what exactly was going on. He, he started to break down barriers, which I, I loved, because you can actually just see him working towards that, and you yeah. can even see it in the trailer. He's breaking a sign down, which was just great. Mm -hmm. The Oh, and the soundtrack. Soundtrack was incredible. It's um, soundtrack produced by Pharrell, so you know he's making good mu uh, music. I love um, every time Taraji P. Henson is running somewhere, they play the same song by Pharrell, and it even goes to one part where a guy is running to her, and that same music is playing to her. It just makes it hilarious. Like, yeah, great soundtrack. Yeah, great humor too. Mm -hmm. uh, they one thing about the racism in the movie, they were able to turn it into comedic humor. The black ladies, they were able to turn it around to their own point of view, like stealing a library book or certain little aspects. It's turned around to a humorous joke-like sense of humor. Which, in all honesty, that's probably the only way you could deal with something like that at that point in time, or just full-on hate. Yeah, because even though it was set in a time during, you know, racism, segregation, it wasn't, like, real heavy, like a lot of, you know, the movies where, where this um, these type of situations happens. It was just, it was comedic, you know, it wasn't like, oh, my God. It was just like, huh, that's messed up. Oh, let's see how she handles this. Yeah, I love the movie. Oh, and um, is, is his name Jim Parsons? Um, He plays... What's his name in the Big Bang Theory? Sheldon? Oh, yeah, Sheldon. I swear, I don't, I don't, I don't watch the show. I don't care for it. But he just seemed like... He did she, look like a racist bigot. Literally, yeah. he, he did play the part well, but I just didn't care for his I just character. saw him as Sheldon in a... in a um, 
I just saw I just saw Michelle in a movie where there's somebody that's actually smarter than him, and he and he hates that. That's yeah. what I saw. It's just like okay, whatever. Yeah. But for this movie, though, I definitely recommend you go see it. And it's such a great movie. Like I was things like the two hour movie. I didn't. I didn't see no parts dragging. Wasn't born. It was probably already one of my favorite movies of the year, and the year just started. This is this is a movie that will stand the test of time because it really does capture the time and the power of people's minds. Mm -hmm. You you can't just block people off because of color or situations like that. Anyone can be anything at any point, given point in time. So that's a review on Hidden Figures. If you've seen it, comment below, and we will see you next time. Peace. Doodles.